right guys welcome to a new series that i am starting i believe i'm the original creator of this series we're gonna call it let's play as and that basically what it is is we're gonna choose a player from a team to play with throughout a career we're gonna go i don't know maybe we can go for five seasons but the goal is to get him to the best um the, just make him as good as possible um, the first player we're going to choose, who I'm going to start with, is my own countryman, Arek Milik, who plays for Napoli. He's actually, I mean, he's been, uh, I'm not exactly sure how old he's, he's about 23 maybe. He's been at um, Bayer Leverkusen, um, I think one other German team as well. Uh, so he's played in a Bundesliga, but he's never actually been a star like Lewandowski, for example. Uh, he Then he moved to Ajax, where he went... Big. He went big there. I think he was top goal scorer in the last season. I'm not exactly sure, but he had a fantastic season. After which Napoli just came in and swooped him. So yeah, that's why we're going to go for him. He's actually a 79 rated striker. So he's alright to begin with. I mean, 6 foot 1 as well. So that's uh, like optimum for a striker. There's definitely going to be some pace on that. And then Ariel Jules definitely going to win that with that 6 foot 1 height. So yeah, we're going to start, as you saw, I just put in a European competition for the first season. we got to have that, update the squads to the latest, uh, and then you can see we're going to use the real player. Go down, where is Milik? Oh, as you can see, there's another Polish guy there, Piotr Zielinski. But we are looking for Milik, where is he? There he is, number 99, Arek Arkadiusz, that's the long name, but call him Arek Milik. As you can see, striker left foot. I don't know why, but I love players with left foot. Like I love to use Van Persie in the previous like FIFA's when he was still decent rated. Now he's a bit older, so not really, not really that great to use anymore. Okay, so we're gonna save this career as Milik. So we're just gonna use the surname of the player, create new career, let that load up, and we can begin our season. Oh, we're definitely gonna have some friendlies before season. So there we have. I think that's Tigers. I'm not sure where they're from. Uh, what do we have? My pro season of league expectations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. Objective none yet. Set. Wait. There uh, we can edit our player, can't we? I want to change the boots. Ah, oh, it's locked. Wait, it's gonna be. It's gonna be in a catalog. Let's see. No, it's going to be in the first one. Go down, down, down. Where is it? Okay, it's rap pack to my post flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cards and they all black. There we go. Edit player and career. Redeem item. Great. So now we have it. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, it's still locked. So I guess after the first game, it's going to be probably unlocked. Or I can quit, but we're going to play the game. And then after, it will be unlocked. As you can see. Um, okay, so let's go into our first game. Similar to the day, yeah, we're playing Tigers, Tigres, I don't know how you pronounce that. Training, no, that's not manager mode, so let's play the game. I do use custom A settings on my pad purely because in previous FIFAs, the, um, I don't know if any of you guys actually realized, but R1 used to be sprint in like FIFA 09, 08, and uh, 11. R1 used to be sprint and then they changed it in I think FIFA 12 to R2 and I never liked it and for the past FIFAs that I've had always used R R1 as a sprint button and then R2 as the finesse. Sometimes people ask me how, how can you play like that so I'm just used to that since the beginning I, f I believe that's how it was originally in the game. But yeah. Alright, so let's kick off our first game. Let's go. I did choose to play just as Alec, Eric Milik for the first game, so just as the player for the first game. We'll see how it goes. If I don't like it, I will just, uh, change it to playing on with the whole team rather than Milik. Purely because sometimes it can be challenging, especially if, suppose we're losing 1-0, and then, uh, you know, I definitely, like, the computer will not do decisions that I would rather do. It can actually make us, help us win the game. Jose so just Torres. it's sometimes better to control the game, but Torres I just want to see how it goes. Uh, we're gonna have a first chance. Won't give that ball. Yes, give it. 
Ooh, shot. decent, what decent. What's close? Good shot. So we got no right in, in the top right hand corner. I think it gives us like when we do something good, it's gonna say us good shot, good Can pass, whatever. It. If we do something bad, I'm assuming it's gonna tell us we did something bad. So we shall see. The thing is, right? Sometimes you, cause it's FIFA. If, I mean, all of us have played FIFA that are gonna watch this. So sometimes you call the ball, they won't give it to you. And then when you don't want well, it, that's no when the computers decide to pass to you. And then your rating goes down crazy. purely because the computer Whether messed up. Regular season, or in this case pre-season, the, the whole sense of occasion is terrific. It is, and uh, as well as honing your football. See, I tried to knock it just fitter, down to him. Hopefully he's going to come in. Oh, yeah. Nice tackling. Oh, look, see, no one, no, why is that guy running away? No one's going to come to me to help me out. A good job in the it's wide decent, area. Isn't it? That's what you want from your team. Play it, out. it can get really tedious like yeah I think yeah, wow, from that. next game we are going to decide to control the whole team because it's going to become very tedious just to challenge. sometimes run around do nothing literally just standing in one spot whereas controlling the whole team is a lot better I can get the ball when I want rather than just watching come on someone Vargas. make a tackle you see what I mean it can be frustrating Okay, play that, play that. Why does it go around? Okay, we still got it. Finish. Yes, debut goal. Fantastic. One nil up. Eric Milik on the score sheet. The rating's gone up. Very nice. I think, is it a cup game? It's like some uh, pre-season tour maybe or you know, some pre-season tournament. That was a decent finish. Left foot, obviously. Got clattered as well. Celebration, let's go, kick off again, one goal. Napoli 1, Tigres 0. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Here comes the cross. To do a better cross than that, I think. And it was easy to cope with. Jose Calahon. Oh, like you see, you see what I mean. Like, look, this is bad call for pass, but it, it's not really why I called for the ball, is it? I called it to my feet, and then he, what, what's he trying to do? He's just trying to play it through, but not exactly sure where. Needed to time that tackle well. It's cost a corner. Could have been worse if he got it wrong. Calamity, really. Some of the players there just calam, like not players, but it's the computer just. Retarded. That's what. All right, we're through on a counter. Play that ball through. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no, wait. Got it. Shoot. Someone. Yes. Tap that in. Go. Two nil. Should get an assist for that. Wasn't my work. I guess the keeper didn't really do a great job. But he's just very on. With the match, you know, go guys. I'm gonna decide to just simulate the rest of the match because I'm not really enjoying it with the playing just as the one player, so just gonna pause it and uh, simulate the rest of the game. Oh, where's it? Request sub, yep, same rest of the match. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna guess we won 2 0. Maybe this could another one, but bearing in mind it's first half, I doubt we would lose. Although sometimes it can happen, so don't always simulate guys when you play career mode because sometimes EA, well EA, the game will just, just they will say no, sorry, and then yeah, it won't be so good. And so we're gonna go change our boots now. I definitely want to put on the new hyper venoms that uh, EA put into the game. Where is Milik? There we go. Select boots. I mean the ones he has now, they're okay, but. We're just going to upgrade to the new Hyper Venoms, the green and red, I think they are. Are they? There we go. I think they look a bit better. Yeah, just going to go for them. Uh, ankle tape, why not? Black. White. No, black goes best. Okay, going to go there. Apply and exit. 
Come on, load up. Let's go back. Okay, let's play the next game. I don't know what team that is. The simulator Cruzeiro. I think that they're Brazilian, if I'm not wrong. So playing a Brazilian team. Nothing else to check. Play match. We're the away team. Mm, Oh, that black kit looks very nice on us. I'm gonna go for the black. I'm gonna change the game settings to four minutes purely because five minutes is gonna be a bit longer. So I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna try get roughly two games per episode. Purely, I don't want to make the episodes too long, and um, I do want to get as many seasons as possible into the series that we're gonna do of let's play as. We have some. Free kick target practice. Try power that in. Okay, we got the wall in, but miss the target. Top left. Oh, side now. Alright, let's try top right. Nope. Let's try power that ball in. Off the post, come on. I'll get there eventually. Post again, come on. Okay, let's go top left again. Oi, that was dirty top. That was literally top top, not even target. Top top. Oh, come on, so close. Alright, we're gonna go top right again. Power. Oh, just over the bar. Let's try top right, side foot. Yes, we got the target, nice. Okay, let's try power top right. Wee! Need some paint work done on that bar ASAP. Someone call in the laborers, bruv. Cool, so we got our next match against Cruzeiro, playing at the Old Dromo Stadium. And we are controlling the whole team, so hopefully it'll be better. So let's fast forward to the action. So nothing much can happen in the game, let's see if we can do something from this, bring the ball out the back. Come on, Calejon, run, run. Okay, put that inside. Switch that one more time. Back inside. Aye. Let's take that ball. Come back. Set him off. Shoot. Oi. So 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 we hit the net support in. We hit the. I mean, I hit the post support in the net the back. But that's as close as we've been with the counter attack so far. On the attack here. Jackarini crossing. They cope with it well defensively. Two more minutes to be played then, added time. Alright, so it's half time. Still nil nil. Haven't managed to get a goal just yet, but we're a second half team. We're gonna smack it in the second half, try to get at least two goals. And give ourselves a nice lead, so let's kick off and play. Here we go into the second half of this second match in the group stage. Yeah, looking forward to it. It was uh, quite a closely run affair, so uh, I wonder if that will continue in this second half. This with a chance to go into the lead now. Let's see if we can get something out of this. Well, good through ball. Excellent interception. Come on, nothing. Some transfer news for you to digest, Alan Smith, for all of us to digest, really. Gonzalo Higuain has signed for Juventus. I don't know about you guys, but Excited in the past, when, the I when I used to do career as a player, um, when I used to do career as a manager, well spent, I, think. I always used to change, well, the um, to change um, like, the player tactics, team tactics. Always, so, like, the um, sort of what the player the has to do, I'd always change it. As in, um, like, sometimes some of the players I'll tell them to always stay back, some of them I would tell them to push up. So, like, for example, one of the, like, suppose fullbacks, so let's suppose the, I've got a really good left back, right? Suppose if I had someone like David Alaba, right, I would tell him to push up. Because then I know if he's, like, 30 yards out, 
I know if I take a shot with him, there's a possibility that I can rip the net. So I don't, I'm not sure I can do that here because this is player career. But let's see. Wait, that's it. One nil. Great goal. One nil up. It's not Milik, but it is his countryman Zielinski. Who are one nil up against Cruzeiro. Gonna try to get one more goal at least in the game. Try to get it with Milik as well. Try to get him on the score sheet. That's our aim of the game. It was almost an air of well, we expected this when the goal was celebrated. Nothing too extravagant. I think they know they're the better side and they expect to win. No, I think they do. There's a certain swagger. No okay, so not much, not much happened since that well, last goal went in, but we have a counter attack now. Uh, let's see what we can do. Milik, come on, finish that left foot. That's it. Bottom bins. That's it. We got great, for, great goal for Alec. Really Alec. Eric Milik, I, I can't speak sometimes. Come out here to put Eric Milik, it's a decent Everybody finish, great ball through. See, possibly, I mean, if the computer was playing by itself, maybe you wouldn't even give me the ball, but because it's me, I think it was good that I decided to play by myself, uh, controlling the whole team. But yeah, we got that two new two goals that I wanted, that I said. Let's see, hopefully we can hold it until the end of the game. Yeah, it's great clearance, keeper. Was that a penalty? Okay, you followed me. Let's just get that ball out. We are in the 90th minute. Just some added on time. And that's full time. Great win. Controlling the whole team 2 0. Eric Milik on the score sheet. That's what matters. We want to boost his stats up. 7.5 match rating. I don't believe he was the best man there, but let's just advance. And to the main menu. And um, that's going to be it for today, guys. For episode two, we're going to have more matches, I guess. So see you guys then. Bend over, make your knees to tear your bones.